This is a short video to show you how to install Python, its most popular data science extensions, and tools like Spider on your own laptop or computer. So what I recommend you do is install an Anaconda distribution. So let's go to www.anaconda.com. So the big claim on Anaconda's website is that it is the most popular Python data science platform. I would agree with that. Um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Anaconda, you can click on the link. Um, and that tells us it has over 6 million users, so a substantial uh, user base. Um, and that it makes the claim that it's the fastest and easiest way to do Python and R data science. And I, and I would agree with that. It's very good. Um, so if you go to the big green button labeled download at the top of the screen and click, it will take you to the Anaconda distribution download page. And it will take you to uh, the operating system that you are using. So I'm using Linux, so it's taken me there. Uh, but do not fear, it will also take you to um, inst win installers for Windows and an installer for Mac OS X. So I recommend you download um, Python 3 distribution. So at the time of recording this video, um, it's Python 3.7. So click on the big green button labels download. And that's going to download a compressed file of some description. Um, and it's a fairly chunky file. It's 653 megabytes. So download that to your laptop or computer and install it. That will take a few minutes. Um, and once that's installed, you're actually all set up. So you've now got Python on your computer. You've now got um, all of the data science extensions that are, that are regularly used. So for example, NumPy and Pandas are installed on your computer. Um, and you also have the tools uh, such as Spider that you can use for editing and writing your code. So once it's installed, the first thing I recommend you do is open Anaconda Navigator, which looks like this. So Anaconda Navigator is a, is a navigator for all of the editing tools that have been installed with Anaconda or that are available through Anaconda. So you can see the first two on the list are Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebooks. So feel free to have some exploration of these um, and you can just click on the button that says launch and it will open it for you. So let's launch Jupyter Lab. And Jupyter Lab runs in our browser. So it's opens there and we can create a Python 3 notebook. And that allows us to um, enter Python code into it and run it a bit like um, the IPython console in Spider that you will be learning about. Let's go back. So, but the key thing what Anaconda has done is is installed Spider, which is the IDE that we're going to use for the vast majority of our coding. The other nice thing with Anaconda Navigator is it has a tab here for learning. So if we click on that um, and scroll through the list, we've got a Python tutorial, we've got Python reference material, we've got reference material for Spider, we've got all of Spider's documentation, um, we've got information about Anaconda. And if you scroll down a little bit more, there are there are Python videos. So there are videos on YouTube that are resources you can use to learn more about Python and Python data science. Now, not all of these videos will be relevant for the course, um, but I do recommend that you take a look at them because they will be very useful within your Python career. So the key point to take away is that by installing Anaconda, you get the, the version of Python that you need you get the data science extensions that you need, such as NumPy for doing um, Python data science, um, and you get the tools that you need for editing and creating your code. And a key one of those that we're going to use is Spider. But feel free to have a look around Anaconda and see what else is on offer.